A sun spear in public. Their alliance with Amnoon must be going well. Commander! Hey! Timey! What are you doing in Amnoon? I decided to take a break from the lab and get back out in the field. I'm here to give you guys a hand and hopefully poke some stuff. Of course, I'm sure old Flunt and his flunky squad are probably combing through my dragon lab as we speak. Time. Anyway, Jory and I hitched a ride with Captain Keel and some trade envoys in her slow, floaty airship. This place really needs an Asura gate. Timey. Balthazar's dead. I heard! Congratulations! So what do we call you now? Dragon Slayer or God Stomper or what? Timey, focus. When Balthazar died, Kral Katorik absorbed most of his freed energy. Kral Katorik's even stronger and more dangerous than ever. Oh boy, that could seriously accelerate the Elder Dragon imbalance. I should run some worst case hypotheticals right away. You're lucky I'm here. And good thing I've got everything I need right here in Mobile Lab Scruffy 2.0. Excuse me, Commander. Chief Counselor Amon requests your presence inside for a small celebration to honor your victory. Sounds like someone's gotta go take a bow. Thank you. She's waiting for you now in the town square, sir. Everyone is. Ugh, no rest for the heroic. Timey, I'll go say a quick hello to the counselor, then we can meet on the docks. I'll catch you up on everything there. You got it, God Stomper. I trust that you now see that ally with the Sun Spears was a high commander. We heard the great news about Balthazar. I hope you don't mind my arranging this little celebration of your victory. It's an impressive gathering, Counselor. But my crew and I really must rest. Of course, I'm certain killing gods must be exhausting work. But I can't in good conscience let Amnoon's heroes leave until you've all been fed, fawned over, and properly fed it. Perhaps just for a moment. Grand Vizier, this is the Commander. The hero who led the awakened troops to their stunning victory over Balthazar. What? No! Archon Ibaru led the Awakened. I spoke with him personally. I don't know this Archon, Grand Vizier, but I assure you that I'm the one to whom you entrusted your benevolent leader's armies. When the truth about this victory is told to King Joko, I promise your name will come up as well. Oh no. Oh no. Excuse me, I, I, I must go. Now. That's odd, and a bit worrisome. Udumishi may be a servile little weasel, but he moves in the highest echelons of Joko's government. But no, I won't let dark thoughts of that Lich King ruin this celebration. Today is about you, your companions, and your glorious victory. Actually, Counselor, I need to tell you the truth about what happened at Kodash. No, no, no. Save your honesty for another day. It's been too long since this city, <laughs> since these people have had anything to celebrate, or heroes to embrace. They need this. They need you. In fact, citizens of Amnoon, raise your glasses in toast to our heroes who delivered us from Balthazar and restored peace to our city. Yes, Commander. Those who owe you their lives want to hear all about your momentous victory. Or, if you'd rather take a few moments to relax, mingle, and enjoy the moment first, you can take the stage whenever you're ready. I've never seen an actual hero up close before. For the last time, I am not a grouchy cactus man, nor am I a giant talking choya. You urchins have the manners of a fifth born. This celebration, it's all wrong. Tell me about it. They closed the casino for this little soiree, so I can't collect for my wager on you until tomorrow. Which means I'm stuck in this haven for giddy singing dancing humans for at least one more day. We Silvari are not, by and large, a giddy folk. We'll be out of here soon enough. Really? 
Unless I misheard, don't you have a speaking engagement first? Believe me, I considered just sneaking out. But I'm convinced Counselor Iman would just hunt me down. Might I suggest, when you do speak, that you avoid giving them the whole frightful truth while they're in such a party mood. On the other hand, I would also be wary of painting too rosy a picture. No reason to encourage their delusions of safety. We want them to stop this frivolous behavior and return to their senses when the morning comes. Just keep it vague. Nothing to get people too worked up either way. You just don't want them to close the casino again tomorrow. In my defense, it was a substantial wager. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'll tell them. I just want to get it over with so we can turn our attention back to Orin and Kraukatorik. Then remember, vague. Of all the gods, I've always liked Balthazar least. Maybe it was the beard. Anyway, I'm glad he's dead. Good choice. As soon as I'm finished with this speech, thank you for encouraging them. We've got to gather everyone up and find Orin. <sighs> it's embarrassing to think the Dragon's Watch has been reduced to dragon babysitting. You saw what happened when Balthazar died. Now we've got to go deal with an enraged, unpredictable Elder Dragon. All due respect, Commander. That's all I've wanted to do from the start. Well, you're about to get your wish. I just have to figure out what I should tell these people first. Any advice? What did Kanak say? He advised caution. Why? I just wanted to know which one of us you came to first. Seriously? Well... I think you have to tell them the truth. That the gods have abandoned them, that killing Balthazar backfired, and now there's a riled up crystal dragon somewhere on the horizon? Listen, if Kralgatorik shows his big scaly snout here, it'd be nice if these people were ready for it. But then, maybe what these people really need is a brief moment of hope and happiness before they go back to living every day in fear. <laughs> You've already talked to Casimir, haven't you? Sorry, Tribune. I'm not saying. I hope my daughter grows up to be just Commander! Like you. Good. We've got to get back out there and find Orin. And figure out what to do about Kralkatorik. We just have to make a graceful exit from this celebration. By the way, you're not considering telling these people everything that's happened, are you? I don't know yet. Please. I've spent a lot of time around these people. I'm not sure that they could handle the truth about the gods or the Elder Dragons. Not after all they've been through. Can't we just give them one day? I suppose it is true the most immediate threat is gone. Then let them keep singing and dancing and laughing. For today, whatever tomorrow brings, we'll face it then. Commander, the crowd is getting
That's how it's done. You think before you guys pack up and head home, you can maybe do something about those pesky sand sharks? They're the worst. <laughs>
You're always I know you've killed dragons. I don't really remember you, but I still have a People of Amnur, please open your hearts and prick up your ears for the warrior who stood toe to toe with the wrathful god. And how? <sighs> Today, there's reason to celebrate for the citizens of Amnun, Elona, and the world. For today, peace has returned to this land. For too long, Balthazar and his army of forged horrors have cast a dark cloud over the desert, a darkness that threatened to consume us all. He betrayed not only his fellow gods, but all of us who revered him. But a short while ago, on the steps of the Kodash Bazaar, a tiny band of mortals stood up to this betrayer god, and they put an end to his plans. Thank you! Thank you! Loves you! Thank you. Unfortunately, Balthazar's death had already set loose another beast of carnage, the Elder Dragon, Kral Katoric, the creature who once branded swaths of Ascalon with crystalline death, took to the skies over your beloved desert. So after having slain the disgraced god, we now set ourselves a new task. We swear to let no god nor beast Arm this desert or its people. For now, the wounded beast is gone, driven off by our efforts. For now, the long nights of chaos have given way to a new day of peace. The Elder Dragons will no doubt someday return. But when they do, we will be ready. I promise. So by all means, celebrate. Enjoy this moment. For as of now, this world belongs to us. Not gods, not dragons. Not awakened or forged or branded. To us. Elonians. Tyrians. Canthans. The world is changing. We, all of us, are the ones who are changing it. And woe to any who would stand in our way. So, a toast. Many challenges lie ahead, but may every battle lead to victory, and every victory to celebration. Thank you. You're my hero. Oh, come on. We love you. Such an inspiring speech. I'm just brimming with optimism about what good things tomorrow might bring. Chief Counselor, you and I should talk sometime before I leave. Absolutely. I look forward to it. Now that you've convinced them the world is in absolutely no danger, why not join us outside? So we can figure out how to keep it from exploding into a million pieces. Everything that happened with Balthazar, Kralkatorik, and Aurene. First of all, about my killing Balthazar. You did what you had to do to save Aurene and yourself. And if it weren't for you, Commander, none of those people at that party would be alive right now. That's rather faint praise. Well, first thing we have to do is find Aurene. First thing is to hunt down Kralkatorik. Neither of those will help until we find out how to replace Elder Dragons. And, as usual, we'll probably end up having to protect all those innocent idiots who don't know how to stay out of harm's way.
We're all thinking it, so I'll just come out and say it. Should we try one more time to get all of Dragon's Watch together? After all this time, do you even know where everyone is? Well, one of them is right here. Jory! Kaz, thank the gods you're okay. Kanak told me what happened with Balthazar. I was so afraid I'd never get to see you again. To tell you that... I, I am so sorry about the way we left things. I know. I know. Me too. I hate to interrupt, but did anybody feel that? Feel what? Oh, dear. Tell me this is just normal. 